Okay, so we're heading out to Crystal Lake, Illinois, uh, up where WeatherGuard is at, their factory up there. Uh, we're gonna meet them up there and they're gonna install a brand new uh, saddle box in my truck for me for the tour. So we have it for the tour. And now I'm about to do a lawn job on my own lawn. Here we go, a little off-roading. Hold on, guys. All right. Okay, yeah, so we're going to uh, WeatherGuard up in Crystal Lake and they're gonna install the box donate it for the tour so we have a place to put all our, our kits and uh, spare parts and uh, like a vice I'm bringing with um, extension cords all that loose kind of stuff uh, have a place to put it on the truck securely without throwing it back here where he's gonna be sitting on the tour so um, that's very generous of them. I'll be uh, posting a picture later today on Facebook when I get it installed. It's going to have a bright uh, finish on there, so it should stand out really well against the black of the truck on here. And uh, yeah, so there's going to be a lot of shots of that on the tour so you guys can see it and see what it's all about. I'll probably do a little gloss over of it, you know, the seals on it and the trays and the size of it and all that stuff uh, so you guys get an idea of it. Like I said, they are donating it, so we'll be talking about it quite a bit. Uh, it is a, you know, those boxes are pretty expensive, but they'll definitely last the life of your truck. Whereas other boxes, let's say from DZ, and there's a couple other ones, uh, I know that you, 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 you can pick them up with like two fingers. You know they're cheap, chintzy boxes. And a lot of guys, they complain, they start putting tools in them, and the thing starts bowing in the middle. I do not want that, so... That's why I contacted WeatherGuard, the best truck boxes that are out. That's why all the commercial contractors use them for all their heavy tools. We used to see them all the time coming in. Railroad guys, uh, welders, stuff like that. All the heavy stuff they have, they always relied on the the, uh, the WeatherGuard boxes back there. So I'm so glad that they, they you know, said, hey, come on up. We'll give you a box for the tour to help you out, save a place to put all your tools. Because, like I said, they're, they're a little more expensive, but they'll last the life of your truck. So, uh, first thing we're going to do, though, before we head on out, is go to Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, so we're half a mile from WeatherGuard up here in Crystal Lake. Uh, you can see it's pretty dark. There's storms coming, and they're going to supposedly bolt us on, bolt the box on out in the parking lot. So, we need to get there and get going here. 0.3 miles. Okay, so... We're heading east, the storms are behind us, so we should be okay. Uh, we're gonna see what this place is all about, though. Hopefully it's the box I want, and it you fits in there nice. You will your destination on the left and in 1,000 feet. Sure, it's up here somewhere. Okay. We are officially off-roading. Uh, there it is, employee entrance, reserved. Is that us? Okay, here's a spot right here for some guy. I probably shouldn't park there. Uh, but this should be interesting. They're going to do it somewhere out here in the parking lot. I guess I'll park down here away from everybody else. I don't want my truck all scratched up anyways. But yeah, the storms are coming, so let's get it done. Alright, so we just left WeatherGuard and we got the box installed and it looks absolutely stunning. It's way bigger than I ever anticipated. I did ask for the extra wide version uh, and, and, and again, they, they gave it to me. They said, whatever you want, you got it. Pick it out and we'll make sure we have it on hand and we'll even install it for you so you're not messing around with that. And what's nice is that the you know, weather guard, they came to my aid right away on my short schedule and uh, they also got me in a couple days early for the install and the pickup uh, so that I can get the box in there and then I can start, you know, putting stuff in there when I get home and see what's going to fit in there, what's not, so I can I can start planning for what's going to go in the bed, what's going to go in the box, and what's going to go back here. Uh, there's a lot of planning involved. I don't want to do it at, at you know Tuesday at 6 in the morning. So this would be nice. We'll be able to have it in there, and I'd be able to get a, a lot better idea of my storage capability. And speaking of the storage capability, this thing, I mean, I asked for an extra wide, but it is freaking huge. It's it's absolutely huge. And I think the the... The lid on there is two feet wide, you know, two feet deep, and of course the, the width of the truck on there. So uh, there should be plenty of storage capability, and I love that fact that there's not a bunch of small loose tools back there, or even any, anything in plain sight back in here. Um, that someone could just come by and kind of just 
reach their arm into the truck and grab and keep going when we're at a restaurant, going to the bathroom, whatever, we're not washing the truck. So we'll have a secure uh, tool storage and yet it's right there over in, in the bed of the truck there for easy access. So uh, when we get home, I will uh, bust the GoPro out or my re regular camera and we'll take you on a little tour of the box, all the little compartments in there and just how freaking big it is. So yeah, I'm really impressed with WeatherGuard and how they came through uh, and they said, hey, we'll give you a box and we'll do it on short notice too and hey, we'll install it. So, uh, you know, really, really, really props to them uh, coming through for me. I know it's a big company and there's a lot of channels to go through to get this to make uh, all this happen and they did it in an expedited manner just for the tour. All right, so I just want to show the inside of the box here before the tornadoes come through. I uh, can see there's a sliding tray in here, which is nice organization. I'm starting to load stuff up for the tour here. These side ones right here are absolutely awesome uh, for just reaching over the side of the bed there and grabbing stuff real quick. Uh, but yeah, I'm starting to load it up for the tour, figure stuff out. Look at this. Give you a little case inside of here. If you have small items, put all my adhesives and stuff in there. But you can see. This thing, it's, it's huge, absolutely huge. So I should be able to fit everything in here nice and secure.